Look, I changed my mind. I'll sell you a body. What? Really? Yeah, I, you seem nice enough, and I mean, it, it's not like they're gonna mind, right? <laughs> <laughs> Just give me a moment, will you? And feel free to look around. If I could replace the spinal column, I bet I could reattach the head to the rest of the body and oh my god, what am I doing with my life? Damage from the fall seems minimal. Eyeballs and teeth all accounted for. Good as new. Except for the... everything. Cathode ray digitool. Apparently, it cuts down input lag when playing Echo Sims. Huh. I'm trying to go pro in Turbo Punch Siddling Skirmish. Cool. Amanda and Lynn of the Dead graduated Eden Six Preparatory Academy. They're my whole world. Doesn't look like it's been digitally manipulated. Those poor kids have a three lifetimes worth of student debt ahead of them. as the vertebrae in the human neck. My life circumstances have changed significantly.
to downsize. The rent was too high in my fridge space. But my income level, or lack thereof, if I'm honest, is irrelevant. I challenge you to a duel. Seriously? I I'm kind of in the middle of something. Then you'll also be in the middle of losing. Now, battle! Okay, fine. One quick game. Select your ball lander. Invested. It's just a matter of strategy. I'd be happy to offer tips to improve your game. Your victory is insult enough. As usual, I'm relegated to abject humiliation. I don't deserve to drink from the plum spiced fountain of victory. The plum spiced what? I don't even deserve to dwell with the living. Close me in. Everything all right? Just, uh, readying the corpse. Please don't tell me what that means. A good engineer works with the tools she has. It. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. I hate this. I hate this. Great. Now for the 
ahead. Now, just ram the head onto the bike so we can turn this whole experience into another fun repressed memory. What did you say? You said good as new. What's good as new? Man, I know, right? Uh, okay. Uh, I found a corpse for you if you want to see it. See it, as in go to another room. Uh, uh, for sure, yes. Let's leave this room immediately. <clears throat> Follow me, please. I knew I had a spare corpse around here somewhere. I was just planning on throwing out, honestly. It's getting kind of rancid, though. I is that okay? That's perfect, actually. The more decay, the better. Sorry about this. <gasps> hey, what are you doing? Uh, there's a contract out on your head. It's enough money to pay off the girl's student debt and invest in my candle company full time. Hey! Bunch of water creep, says the woman thirsting for rancid corpses. Besides, I'm not the one killing you here. I'm just the one locking you in a coffin until you run out of oxygen. The coffin's the real creep here. Be mad at the coffin. Okay. Don't panic. You're not claustrophobic. Except now that you've said it aloud, you are. Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! No. Think. Wait. The goggles. Come on, show me something. What's that? A hole. Measuring 0.5 millimeters in diameter. If widened, this could provide a means to avoid capture and death by the TDOR Corporation. What? You don't talk. When did you start talking? Shadownet update illegally installed by Octavio Wallace Dar. Now punch. Oh. <laughs> yes. How? Oh. No. How many more punches until I break through? Based on the strength of your punches, the coffin door will be compromised after five thousand more punches. Steady on you. No need to rush because TDR will be here at any moment to capture and kill you. One punch at a time. <laughs> okay, starting to hurt. A lot. <sighs> Come on. Almost there with about 3,900 to go. <laughs> yes. You've reached Dr. Anuradha Dar. I'm unavailable to take your call right now, so please leave a message. The little bro has outdone himself with the HQ mission, sis. Sending you the Addy now. Hope you're having fun in your supply run. I saw your bounty on TV, and I'm calling to collect. Hmm. On Dr. Dar? Yeah. Awkward nerdy lady. Dar, that's right. And she's dead. Uh, not yet. But her oxygen's sure to run out any minute now. Lovely. We've tracked your location. My mom will arrive to dispose of you. I mean, dispense your reward to you shortly. Wait, what did you say? Tidior thanks you for your service.
your stories in the Borderlands start bloody. They end bloody, too. And really, the bit in the middle isn't too great either. But every once in a while, things aren't so bad. This is the situation our three doofuses found themselves in. After successfully pitching their uh, opposite of a gun on sink or swim, the genius, the rage monster, and the big dumb idiot had the world on a string. Well, for the most part. Anu, the competent one, intended to collect a corpse. But thanks to Susan Coldwell's bounty, Anu might find herself being the corpse she wanted to collect. Don't give me that look. You narrate next time you think you can do so much better. Four hundred. <laughs> Ock! Ock! Can you hear me? I haven't been up to much. Just about to get murdered! Okay. Just come back when finished. Yeah! Will do! <sighs> hundred... One! Four... Hundred... by now. Those student loans aren't going to pay themselves. What's the holdup? So sorry, ma'am. My platoon was diverted by civil unrest. ETA, five minutes. Oh. Five minutes. Come on. Come on. Just one more punch. Level of deterioration, severe. Likely usefulness in shard experimentation, low. Damn! I don't care if there's a war going on. I got your girl in a coffin and a, a bank account getting skinnier by the minute and... Level of deterioration, none. Likely usefulness in shard experimentation, high, if she were a corpse. A scalpel, useful for transforming people into corpses. I, no, 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 I, 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 I don't want to kill again. Really? Because the idea is growing on me. Stop. Watch it! Nothing personal! Go on. Just die, you psycho! Now this is it! You psycho bell! 
Radio Battalion 46 reporting. Oh, crap. <laughs> Ma'am, buzz on this. Uh, sorry, I guess. Wait, no, I'm not. No peeking! Octavio, is this really necessary? Uh, and where is Fran? I have something important to tell you both. Ba -ba -ba. I, I said no peeking! Voila! Say hello to our new HQ! Do you love it? I bought it from the city's top realtor, Rhonda Fofolia. She's one of the dirty 30. Her whole reputation is built on being nice and honest. Central location, spacious, great schools. And there's something homey and familiar about it. You bought Franz Frogert. <laughs> what? No. Yes. You bought the literal rubble of Franz Frogert. The same location you wanted us to leave. There's no way we could know for sure this is Franz Frogert. There's a big sign that says Franz Frogert. <laughs> that sign is old news. You're looking at the new headquarters of our company, which I named... an awesome name that I totally remember, and that name is... Octavio Solutions! And what do we solve? Uh... Octavio Problems. You bought a blown-out Froger shop. The same Froger shop we fled, and the only difference is a custom plaque? Not the only difference. This place is full of updates. Come, look around. Updates such as... Like this solarium, 
You can read, drink sweet tea, or just sit and enjoy the... It's a table under a hole. Okay, fine. But, but, I haven't even told you the best part yet. I didn't need to take out a loan. I was able to pay it full, in cash, up front. You what? It took some professional negotiation. A professional negotiation, but I got her to accept all the money we want from Sink or Swim. Since this building is ours, free and clear. <laughs> you idiotic. Oh, this already was ours before it was blown apart from an invasion. You bought it for no reason with all our capital? These are some high-level biz maneuvers. Business maneuvers. It's above your pay grade. I don't expect you to understand. I get it. You think I agreed to purchase this place right away, but I'm not an idiot, Anu. I knew Fran would want to invest in some security measures, and I knew you'd want some high-tech tools to work with. So, being the amazing negotiator I am, I talked Rhonda into giving us... Into giving us what, exactly? If you're dragging this out to create suspense, which just feels like anxiety to me, more, more anxiety. A plasma ball. Very scientific. I'm sure it'll help with your experiments. I haven't seen you make that face since we were kids. You'd always make that face just before you... Ah! Let's not go nuts here. If you were me, you'd do the same. Get up, you two. Ah. I leave you two doofuses alone for one second, and you're at each other's throats. You are also in the place where we last saw you. Friend Octavia, have you been duped again? Yes, he spent all of our capital buying. She pulled my ear. Hard. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I don't want to hear it. As far as I'm concerned, I'm back home again. And I love these countertops. They used to be our floor. Even if Octavio spent all of our money on my shop, I have made up for it by hiring our support staff on the cheap. And by cheap, I mean nothing. Come along, Fergus. Fergus? Strangely arousing. Uh -huh. I mean, uh, uh -huh. a rather fascinating human. The dancing, the free labor. He lives in a perpetual flow state, coexisting with instinct and agency. He completely bypasses the contradiction of programming. His oscillating hips are fascinating and somehow life affirming. You're just beholding the power of pure grade-A sexiness. Drink it in, Brobot. Drink it in. When I reflexively murdered that security guard, I found myself in a consciousness paradox. But you have solved it. I shall learn from you. You are my guru. Free labor. Free labor. I thought I was your guru. What an astonishingly inaccurate assessment. Him. A, a guru. Him. Sure, he's a great dancer with chiseled abs and a butt that refuses to quit. But I'm not sure he's the right fit for a startup business. 
Does he have any usable experience? No offense, of course. <laughs> He's working for college credit. So by taking him on, we are fulfilling his dream. Free labor. Come on, don't tell me you're gonna say no to that face. For legal reasons, I'm gonna say no. Who died and made you queen of HR? The following HR professionals had their contracts fulfilled, by which I mean lives terminated in the past hour. Sophia Poppy, Eleonora Kopsa, Harriet Lilly, Jade Dukesha. That's not what she meant. Fergus sought me out for his college's work-study intensive program. Free labor. He's majoring in libidinous business management and minoring in hot throbbing. Fran! You do know you're not trapped, right? You can leave any time. Give one thrust for yes, two for no. Free. And you want to work for your college course unpaid? Labor! That's it. I give up. Welcome aboard. Yes! I hope you enjoy your time at Octavio Solutions. Whoopee! Fergus, whip us up some Proyo daiquiris. Extra space rum. Free labor. Free labor. I never get tired of that touch. Oh yeah, shake it. Seems like I'm the only one who's actually made an effort. Do either of you have any idea what I went through to bring you the, the, the nothing at all? Weren't you supposed to get like supplies? A corpse. Oh. Wow, are we pivoting to the corpse business? Either way, I don't see a corpse, which means you screwed up just as badly as us. Worse, we actually came back with something. You're right. I screwed up. I had to bring a dead body for organic testing material, and I failed. I failed you, I failed the company, and most of all, I failed myself. If there's anything, anything I could do to make it up to you, let me know. Well, I guess you could wax my hover chair. And make me tacos for the rest of the month? I could do it with an oil change. Oh, never mind. It turns out corpses, much like my current mental state, are fragile. Yeah. The point is, none of us accomplished anything. Is that right? Not entirely. Anu at least managed to evade the TDO patrols currently searching for her. Right before she and Octavia ran past several dozen security cameras on their way here. Wait, what now? TDR was there? The person running the morgue tried to collect all my bounty. Baby girl's first bounty? Aww. Guys, focus! If the security cams got us, we were followed. Yes, almost certainly. Maybe you were followed. But I wasn't. We were going to the same place. There's no way. Hello, Ding Dong. Doctor Anu Zahardar, prepare to die. Wait just a minute. Doctor Anu Zahardar, your bounty is misspelled. I won't murder you. If you pull that trigger, things are gonna get bad. I do not respond well to threats. Not a threat, you tin can chihuahua. A promise. I'm even worse with promises! Ah! Oh my god! No! Congratulations! You killed my commander! Oh, I'll show you even!
science for the win! Joke's on you! I didn't like those guys anyway! I had a mission, and I completed it! Meanwhile, your friend is still dead! Later, loser! I'm here for you, big guy. I'm here. I was really starting to like her. That's it? You just gonna let me go like that? Do I wanna break you in half with my bare hands? Absolutely! But that would be a violent, spiteful act of revenge. And she wouldn't want that. So yeah. I'm letting your metal ass go, but not for you, for her. He let you down. You didn't even get to try your device on a dead. What if Anu is the dead body? Correct. Anu's body is dead. It can be hard to accept such tragedies. How are you feeling, sis? You were totally dead there for a minute. A, a really scary minute. I, uh, yeah. Are, are you okay? I think so. If you need mouth to mouth, just say the word. Whoa, whoa, you were totally dead there less than a minute ago. Maybe you should take it easy. No, no, I'm fine. I... <gasps> Not fine at all. It's weird. I... Uh, Anu? Your eyes are glowing. I need help. Is this normality? Nothing about this is normal. Anu, say something. Are you okay? In peril. Well, I sure as hell can fix that. Give me that piece of shit. For whatever reason, whenever Anu gets a hit of this shard's healing juice, she goes all funny. I don't know why, but I also don't care. It's been nothing but trouble since we got it. Gah! No! You seem to have changed the shard's energy signature, Francine. You fear me because... <gasps> we... we didn't understand. Anu? that you, girl? We must be made whole. That's a big no. Hold up. I know what to do. Snap out of it. Snap out of it. Okay, I'm out of ideas. What do we do? I'm new to alien possession, too. What would Anu do? Probably befriend it. Ah, worth a shot, I guess. And if not, I have something else we can try. Uh. Hey. Hi. Uh, oh. uh, Octavio here. Um, I don't know what you're doing to my sister, but you need to let her go. Uh, now? Please? Just leave her alone, okay? She's, she's no good to you if you hurt her. Your half for the promise. We are made whole. I I promise. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> First you were dead and then
then you're super possessed. This has been a real roller coaster. I didn't even get a chance to give you mouth to mouth. Unless, of course, you want some now. I mean, would it help? I am fine, uh, really. I'm sorry I blew all our money on a blown up Froyo shop. I'm sorry my intern is so sexy. And I'm sorry I got trapped by a crazy candle making morgue attendant and led Tidio straight to our door. I'm sorry I cannot identify with any of these extreme emotions. Free labor. Free labor. Free labor indeed. <sighs> Listen, I'm great at running a dessert-based business that I have inherited, but let me get real with you both for a minute. Starting a technology business is hard. So oh, hard. hard. And we're bad at this, like really bad. Really bad. bad. We didn't even set up a fun office culture. Like Casual Friday or, or Taco Tuesday. Or make out with your coworkers Wednesdays. Oh, come on. Like I'm the only one who enjoys make out with your coworkers Wednesdays. Okay, maybe Fran's right. Fran's definitely right. You know what they say though? The first step to being bad at business is admitting you're good at business. That doesn't make any sense. It does when you think about it. No, it still doesn't make any sense. Look, we're all beginners at this, right? Maybe we need to get some help from a veteran. Someone seasoned, successful, and already on our side. Strong for it. The angel investor. Oh, that's a great idea. Get her on your phony decks. Already am, and it's a Necrodex phone. And don't tell me what to do. Whatever, give me the phone thingy. You got Fran here. You can just talk normally. Fran or Franz Frogert, as I live and breathe. Heard one of them chatty TD or guns broke into your homestead and put a hole straight through Arnold's bread box. Are we revealing our device brought me back from the dead? She did invest in us. We should respect our shareholders. If word gets out, it goes our way. It's called controlling the mayor. Narrative? Alive, not alive. Chicken and waffles. I mean, what does it even mean to live these days? Breach. I mean, are any of us actually alive? I am not. I'm confused. Does Arno have a pulse? Yes, I do. It's 74 BPM. <laughs> oh, wow. Color may relieve y'all, <laughs> but still, I know them GD or scoundrels like the back of my horse's head. They're gonna just keep trying to kill you until, well, they kill you. That's why we're calling you on the Echo Doodle Do. Echo Dex. We were wondering if you could help get our business on its feet. Maybe protect us from TD or another bounty hunters while we're at it. is a big expense, but I didn't just invest in that Healy beam of yours. I invested in y'all. And if there's one thing I do, it's protect my investments. <laughs> Did you hear that? We're investments. That's great to hear. I think I speak for all of us when I say we very much want to stay alive. And we're grateful for your help. From one business tycoon to another. I'll put y'all up in my private hacienda. It's safe there. You can continue your research, hang in the hot tub, enjoy a shiatsu massage from Abdul. Research? Hot tub? Abdul. I'm sending a car now. See y'all in a jiffy? High five time. High five time. And speaking of investments, 
We need you to stay here and do whatever you can to clean this place up. Free labor? They do that sometimes. You'll get used to it. yourselves at home. Um, is the hacienda you? Oh, no. You'll have to forgive me. I know it's rude not to give you a big old warm welcome face to face, but you got here just in time for a real special hoot nanny what's happening this very night. I'm hosting a bit of a fet or partido, if you will, and you are, of course, all invited. A party? With... people? A party, eh? What are you celebrating? Well, holy the fact that three people have invented a technology that will change the whole gosh darn world forever and ever and ever. <laughs> I think that's worth a little celebrating, don't you? Yes. Uh, thank you for, um, believing in our vision. I mean... The party is a cool, too, a very, very fun surprise. <laughs> Not at all anxiety inducing. I love people and being the center of attention and- What my sister means to say is that we look forward to raging with you. <laughs> the party will start in just a few wee hours, and I so look forward to meeting y'all in person when it kicks off. Until then, I went and took the liberty to arrange some pleasant diversions for each of you that I hope you will find to your liking. I'll leave you in the hands of my capable assistant. What about Louis? You have something special for him to do? Yeah, what about Louis? He's part of our team. What? He's grown on me. I have not. I remain unattached from your person. See? Charming. I would never overlook such a fine piece of machinery. L0U13, you'll find an outlet on the wall. It's quite special. It will plug you into an AI-only server where you can, how to put this, exchange data with other consenting intelligences. I'm talking multiple data packets. I do enjoy the exchange of data. Cool, bud. You, uh, you enjoy that. Oh, my. That's very good. Mr. Wallace Dar, please follow me. Miss Miskowitz and Dr. Dar, I will be with you momentarily. Octavio! You, 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 you're... Bivington Bradwick. No way. Guess what? No way! Bivington Bradwick. Yeah, I... Yes, it's really me. From Forge's super successful Dirty 30? Yes, well done, Octavio. But, you know, I'm not the only person here associated with that vaunted list. You are, too. 
<laughs> That's right. You are one of Forge's super successful Dirty 30. How does it feel? <laughs> this is a dream come true. I feel so fucking validated right now. Fudge, yes. Even more validation. Thank you, Bibbington Bradwick. I love you. Yeah. Right, I almost forgot. This is for you. It grants you access to the Dirty 30 VIP room. Dirty 30 members only. <laughs> so, where is the old angel investor? Would love to party with her in chat, you know? One business sight into another. Oh, the angel investor isn't here. She unwinds in more private circles. More private than this? Relax. Okay, can I offer you an overpriced drink? You seem like a man of taste. Maybe something from the booze rouge. <laughs> Only select members from the VIP section can partake from the booze rouge. I'd never say no to a taco. You want tacos? Like some sort of non-VIP plebeian? Okay. <laughs> I mean, why not? You're the man of the hour after all. <gasps> we'll have a taco luge. Just this once. Octavio, my new best friend. Can I be real with you for a minute? Always, Bivington Bradley. Always. These diversions are for you, the real VIP. Anu and Fran are being well taken care of, I assure you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the success you earned. You sure they're having a good time too? Absolutely positive. <gasps> Dr. Dar, at last. It's so great to meet you. Come on in, please. I've been dying to show you the space. Huh? Say hello to your new home away from home. Please, after you. State-of-the-art facilities, unlimited resources. Huh? A dedicated, multidisciplinary team working under you. No oversight and no deadlines. Not to be just, like, super on the nose about it, but frankly, this is any scientist's dream come true. But if there's no oversight, what about... Is there a board? No. What about other department heads? <laughs> no. But who do I have to appease to be given funding? No one. I don't understand. I know. Seriously, this is perfect. It's like you picked this lab right out from one of my dreams. But... I... I couldn't possibly take this lab. I have my own company and a project I'm working on, and Octavio and Fran need me. I'm... Okay. I understand. It's a real shame, though, because we have some problems, which, if you solve them, would change all of science. Probably even the world. Forever. 
like the, the type of problem where they'd name an equation after me equations <laughs> more like planets but that's okay you are a busy woman with things to do i suppose i have a few minutes i could take a quick peek I've identified the issue, but I can see how you missed it. This fluid is not pH balanced for the reaction you're attempting to achieve. It just needs a little more... base. <laughs> I said it needs a little more... base! <laughs> no? Nothing? Uh, okay, thanks. <laughs> Where do they keep their alkalis? According to these readings, you are full to bursting with urine! Fantastic! <laughs> Nervous Pierre? <sighs> Me too. Sometimes, all it takes is a little soothing music. Process. Trust. Science! Perhaps some soothing music would help the jabber to relax and fall into a flow state. And by flow state, I mean pee. Maybe he could pee. <laughs> Lo-fi beats that you could take a leak to. There really is a station for everything these days. Feeling about there you go. Some nice, relaxing music. Uh. Oh no. Still feeling shy?
is what I've been saying all along. Nature provides us the solution to so many problems. No one blinks twice at the idea of shooting someone, but ask them to handle a little jabber urine and their worldview shatters. I mean, look! Look at what science can achieve! Now, uh, what did you need this for again? It's for hair growth. Try some. I'll pass. Th thank you. No way. Is that a vault member's figurine of Maya in her limited edition cloak of Athena's? Oh, Maya. Maya. Maya, 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 Maya. Maya. <clears throat> My God. Should I take you? I want to take you. I can't take you. But someone else could take you? It'd be wrong to take you. I'm gonna take you. Mm. I took you. It's an honor watching you work. Hmm. There's no cipher for this code in the database. If I had more text to work with, I'm positive I could crack the code and translate it. <laughs> I know, but why? Scanning. No idea. <sighs> oh, maybe I can review the work they've done on it so far. <laughs> Process. Trust. Science!
such focus, such dedication. Secrets of science kept secret, eh? It's written in the same code that's on the whiteboard. <gasps> Surely there's enough text here to crack the code if I use my tech goggles to analyze it. Decrypting weird code. <sighs> Cipher unlocked. You're welcome. Hmm. Now that I have the code, I can translate the whiteboard. for Anu's genius. You cracked the code. We've been stumped on that one for weeks. What does the message say? Don't cross the streams. <laughs> Don't cross the streams. That seems like pretty life-altering advice. So close, but no. When you've exhausted all other options, sometimes it's best to just get physical. <clears throat> Ta-da! One working kombucha-lizer. Struggling with these problems for weeks on end, and you solved them all of them in one day. That's wow. That is wow. Well, I, you know, sometimes you just need a fresh pair of eyes. <laughs> one question, though I understand the connection between the code and the congripulizer, but how does the jabber urine factor in? Oh, it didn't. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Three cheers for Dr. Dar! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray!
Rita? In the flesh. How are your sisters doing, Rita? I'm sure you've heard Rhonda made it to Forge's Dirty 30 this year. And Reva, well, I think her jealousy got the better of her. I haven't heard from her since the magazine came out. She's probably cooling off somewhere. You know how she is. Such a drama queen. Ugh. Yeah. Yep to all that. Anyway, I'm not here to talk about the past. I'm here to talk about the future. Okay. And the future is the Franz Frogert franchise. You want to turn my Frogert shop into a franchise? Yes. The company I represent is willing to invest several trillion dollars to convert what was once your humble little shop into a galaxy-wide empire. And the cherry on top? A five billion dollar signing bonus. All for you. Five billion dollars? That's almost six billion dollars. Go ahead, take her for a spin. Make yourself a cup of Frogurt. We paid careful attention to your signature flavor profiles. You're gonna love it. See for yourself. Okay, let's see how you did with my chocolate dill pickle. The sooner you sign off on the store, the sooner we can have you sign your contract. Well, I better collect all the dough in this place. I am Fran of Franz Froger's after all. Make it rain! <gasps> hey, now. <gasps> Even better than cash. You gonna pour that yogurt or what? keep their loot in places like this. <clears throat> Salutations. Care for a duel in a thrilling trial of Bogmanders? Ah, oh, crap. Okay, Tiny, let's go. <laughs> Your jest is hollow. For I am not Tiny. Unless you're referring to my genitals, which I lost in a buzzsaw accident. Don't care. Let's go. Select your ball lander. I'm new to this. 
Either I'm really good, <laughs> or you suck. Both. Wait. Uh -huh. Good boy. <laughs> Dude in a trunk with no job. No time to get existential. Pour that yogurt. I hate these newfangled. Everything broken here? I do not use that mode anymore. <sighs> Looks like someone is repressing a traumatic memory. Would you like a poop in hand? No! That's a poop in shame. You know our policy. If you want to repair, you gotta share. I can share. You want me to share something personal? Something personal. Hmm. Something personal. I never got to pork our unpaid sexy intern. So sexy. So unpaid. You're avoiding your true feelings. That boops my pooping poop. Wait, hold 
Come on, I can do it. I... I... You can't just boop a suppressed memory from thin air. You have to be relaxed. Gently boop it from your mind. I'd like to poop you from my mind. Why don't you do some chores around your store? This place could use pooping up, and the activity is sure to give your memory a poop in the pants. <laughs> Can't hurt to liven this place up with some tunes. Please poop a selection. Pump it up, Promethea. Uh, 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 uh. That's not what I pooped. Did you even get this picture? chance. Go ahead, explore the space. After all, it's your space. Oh, wash my hands, huh? Thanks, mother. Yeah, one of those fancy schmancy zen fountains. <gasps> Namaste. I'm ready to share. Whoopee! I'm all pooped. We were on a trip for field day. A holiday where kids gather to go look at a field. I saw a group of bullies going to town on a poor defenseless spider ant. And if there's one thing I hate, it's bullies. What did you do? What I always do. I got mad. Only this time, 
I wasn't just mad. This time, I was so angry, I activated my hover chair's mecha mode. In hindsight, it was a smidge of an overreaction. But once I had those bullies in my sight, the rage, it carried me inexorably towards a conclusion I didn't yet know to dread. Caught up in my anger, I launched my... A mecha rocket freeze punch! Um, no, not at all. Neither did that poor spider ant. In fact, it sort of set off what I'd later call my big murder whoopsie. I hit those suckers so hard, they're flying through the air, already dead, and they hit a nearby sitting tank of field gas. What's field gas? Gas for the field. The better question is, what was it doing sitting there full that afternoon when the field should have been gassed up already? Anyways, these gods hit the tank, and it's a small explosion. More people died, and they weren't even bullies. I couldn't believe it. And that's when I saw the answer. It was so obvious, right in front of my face, surrounded by other possible options. The water tower! But instead of putting out the fire like it was supposed to do, it just made things worse. Water spreads fire when the original source is oil. Field gas being oil. I know that now. The buildings and train station and passing train around the field all went up. More lives lost. I was just trying to help. I would call this my somewhat bigger murder whoopsie. Bullies. Then the field gas explosion. Now I'd been betrayed by water? There was just so much destruction. So much death. I was trapped in a cyclone of emotions. But what I felt most was frustrated. Anyway, that's how I learned at a young age a painful truth. I am a monster. My inability to control my anger resulted in unimaginable destruction and death. I vowed then and there never to use mecha mode again, but of course that vow wasn't enough to save me from the worst punishment Promethea can lay on a person. Compulsory anger management. Sanitized, franchised France Frillers all across the land. Wonderful. to you.
Kroger is ready to serve. So many knickknacks. Touch everything. unholy evils that dwell in this brokert. It's delicious, right? So, are you in or are you out? Take your time, about 10 seconds worth of it. This was a trap. To emotionally devastate you, yes! <laughs> and it worked! <laughs> so does my freeze ray. Oh, don't panic. I'll come by and thaw you out later. Nah, I won't. So, Octavio Solutions. Was that all your idea? Whatever you say will be immortalized in your super successful Dirty 30 profile. I had some help. <laughs> Just a nerdy sister and an angry woman in a haberdasher. Co-founders. Co-founders? <laughs> That's a strong word. But, yeah, they're, they're co-founders. <laughs> hey, yo! This song is my jam! <laughs> this party's a little dead. Totally dead. Why don't you and I head to the VVIP section? <laughs> There's a VVIP section? Here. The more successful you are, the weirder stuff you're into. <laughs> no, Octavio, here in the VVIP section, you find refined recreations for the discerning entrepreneur. <sighs> Care to stick your face in the belcher? Courtesy from the angel investor. Only 11 people in the world have enjoyed mouth gas from the Belgium. I'm not that into drugs. Especially from amphibians I don't recognize. Strange. And all this time I thought you were cool. I mean, you are cool, aren't you, Octavio? I don't know if the angel investor would deign to meet someone who isn't. <laughs> Bim. 
Bibbity Bibster. <laughs> I'm so cool that I'm above peer pressure. Why? Because I have no peer. My coolness is without equal. That's how cool I am. Economically cool! Oh, oh. Sheesh. I still wish Onu and Brand were here to see how cool I am. Everyone is wearing masks. Are you sure they aren't here already? Good point. Onu, Fran, come try the Belcher. It's for VVIPs. You did it. You actually did it. Full stabilization readings, a perfect fusion reaction. The congripulizer is fully functional. And the best part is you did it without using the potassium magnesium channels. Absolutely brilliant. You truly have a mind unlike any other. Simply put. You've changed science forever. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Dog, this is your discovery, your hard work. Would you like to do the honors and activate the congripulizer for its first trial run? It would be my honor. Heading to the observation room. <laughs> this kind of looks like a cage. <laughs> She's in the observation room. You tricked me. Wow. Another thing you figured out, Dr. Dar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think we're done here. Dr. Dar, thank you for your invaluable contributions. Dar, you taking me, should take my shirt off or we could go to the v v v i p room the v v v i p room yes Welcome to the VV VIP Elite Gold Status Lounge. Th this isn't a VV VIP Elite Gold Status Lounge. This is a cage! <laughs> An exclusive cage. No! A cage cage! You tricked me! Don't think of it as tricked. In the business world, we... Well, <laughs> we also call it tricked. <sighs> is this because I didn't do the belcher? It certainly didn't help your case, but no, no, you were always going to end up here, Octavio. Let me out! Let me out! Anyone? Please help me! He tricked me! I'm a super successful Dirty 30! Anu? Oh, yes. Right there. Put your data right there. Fist me? Not really. How did you follow me here? Inconsequential. 
sequential. I'm here now. It doesn't matter that you and your friends humiliated me in a store. It doesn't matter that I was fired for playing Fortlander. If you have any hope of freeing your little friend, you must first defeat me. I'd prefer not to. <laughs> Luckily, I didn't ask. Now, battle! Gosh, God damn it, anyway. Come here. Select your ball lander. Smile. Smile. I won. Wait. I won! <laughs> Who's the best Vault Lander competitor in the galaxy? Brand new years! Eat it, you teeth, your trash! You can't have won. I was depending on this. I needed that W! Between you and me, pal, maybe it's time you got a new hobby. Maybe a new job with an employer that values you? Just food for thought, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Thanks. Maybe I'll, uh, catch you later? I hope not. Wow. Louis, wake up! I gotta yuck your yum. I apologize in advance. board of sensations it was true bliss i think our children have got themselves into trouble we better go find them our children in this metaphor would i be the daddy ah you are the daddy I am the daddy, yes. What happened while I was diverted? Oh, I relived my suppressed life-defining trauma and then witnessed my own personal evil and all of its ugliness and terror. Oh, and I also milked a spider ant to make yogurt. 
From your tone, I surmise this is not how yogurt is typically made. Look, the people here are bad. Very bad. We gotta go find our two dum-dums before they get themselves killed. Come on! Octavio, you too. We've got to get out of here. We've got to think of something, some way to break out. Or we could wait here for Fran. She could break these cages, no problem. Come on, Octavio. Stop waiting around for other people to solve your problems and start trying to solve them yourself. Dumb. 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 So dumb. Okay. I admit, I partied a little hard, but that's to be expected. I made Forge's super successful Dirty 30. Oh my god. Don't you get it? You didn't make that stupid list. It's just one more scam you fell for because reality won't enter your thick skull. That's why you're sitting in a cage. You never think things through, Octavio. Oh! Gosh, I'm so sorry. I must have mistaken you for someone who also got trapped in a cage! Listen, I... There you idiots are! I leave you alone for ten minutes, and you both get caught by TDR? Freeze! <laughs> you don't have to freeze. You're not a threat. You two, drop your weapons! Loud and boss-like! I mean... Don't listen to them. You can take them. Shut up! Shutting up. My entire body is a weapon. Then drop it! As you wish. Oi! Is that a weapon? N no. Drop it anyway! Drop them! exactly as easy as I expected it to be. Huh? <laughs> Aww, cute. Doesn't make a difference. You get over here and I'll put my fist through your... <laughs> the company that made your chair? I acquired it ages ago. And I can control it. Any way I please. And you can make the chair do fart noises. Hey, hey, hey. you want to talk to the guy in charge? I'm right here. Huh. Here's how it is. Do as I say, or you, and obviously they, die. Now, the device, please. Oh, I won't be asking again, obviously. Anu, what are you doing? Just don't hurt anyone. Well, even if I do, now I've got the gun to fix it. It's not. When spoken to, dear. I'll also be taking your echo decks. Never! next you're gonna break louis why would you even say that no need i think your robot friend will discover he left that little melding of the minds with some dirty data packets now that you mention it some of the data i just exchanged was unscrupulous it was all unprotected 
I even use my back port. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. I'm riddled with STDs. Software transmitted diseases. I need a moment to run diagnostics and swap my system. Really swap my system. This is your plan? Lock us in cages and hurt our feelings and give us diseases and uh, steal our invention and what? Mass produce it? That's not gonna work. We own the patent. <laughs> okay. You can laugh, but our investor isn't going to be too happy about this. The mystery caller who jumped in to bail us out of sink or swim have our backs. We may not know who they are exactly, but they're somewhere around here. And anyone that could just drop a few billion on us out of the blue, quite obviously, has a lot of resources that should not be crossed, and I'm just now realizing it's you. It's your your the angel investor. And there it is. Well, golly. Sure would be nuts if I just bought myself a rich to hit translator and funded my own competition. <laughs> Yuck. Wait. That box is the angel investor? Wow. Here's what happens now. Anu, you're coming with me. Tell the others. Ah. Kill the himbo last. He means the most to her. Wait, wait, wait. If you lay a hand on them, I won't tell you anything about the shard. What makes you think I need you? Well, see my steak. <laughs> what makes a cowpoke like you think a gunslinger like me's got any more use for you than a grizzly bear's got for a unicycle in a river rapid? Ugh. I thought we fixed this auto-translate. The UI team is gonna pay for this. See? You don't even understand your own echo decks. You don't have a chance with the shard without me. If they die, I won't tell you a thing. You'll be stuck. Actually, <laughs> never mind. No, I've just thought of a much better use for them. You just earned yourselves front row seats to the hottest show in town. <laughs> Men, raise the curtain. It's showtime. Thrilled to see so many familiar faces here today. <laughs> Shut up! Wainwright, Reese, Torg, Karagawa Sr., Athena. Ah, oh, undoubtedly it was your communal sense of self preservation that motivated you to be here this evening. Well, that and the fact that none of you would let the others get the competitive edge. But now you ask yourselves, why am I here? And the answer is. A demonstration. <laughs> oh, I have gathered you together for a mercifully one night only opportunity to merge with Tidior or face your swift and utter annihilation. <laughs> See, since the beginning of civilization, uh, we have pioneered ways to hurt one another from the stick to the stone to the stick with a stone tied to the end of it, and onward throughout the ages to the laser exploder, the rebel yell, and who can forget? The iconic face melter. Hmm? <laughs> Each one a rung on the ladder toward power, a ladder that we all race to climb. But thanks to the research efforts of Tidior and a few very gracious volunteers, <laughs> bring me the buffoon. That one. Ah. Uh. Good to see ya! How's it going? Got a new power suit. Hey, Reese. Hey, Honu, it's the old boss. Let's uh, network after this. Synergize. Talk through some new inbox. 
That's investment opportunities. Octavio! Gotta tell ya, not getting the best vibe from this being trapped on stage thing. Louise! Wake up and kill her! Bad luck. You won't be firing a shot anytime soon. Hmm. I bested you, Anu. I've been one step ahead all along. I own you now, quite literally. So be a pet and cooperate. Arr. Now you may be aware of what the less imaginative among you have been calling green iridium. You've also likely heard by now that my pursuit of it is the entire reason for my invasion of Atlas and this planet. That shard before you is a crystal of such extreme rarity that only a privileged few have ever viewed with their own eyes. Well, at least until Dr. Dar showcased it and its incredible healing properties to the entire planet while begging for money on sink or swim. Begging? Like, no. But what Dr. Dar did not know was that the shard that she and her team of imbeciles had acquired was in fact the missing half of a truly beautiful a second shard? This seems, and stop me if I'm being pessimistic, but not great. They're a set? Did we know they came in a set? Are they worth more money in a set? <laughs> oh, so much more. Hmm. And what the good doctor didn't show you, perhaps because she had no idea, was that the power of these shards can be wielded in more ways than one. Hmm? Dangerous, yes? Don't worry, in line with her recent groundbreaking research with Iridium, uh, work that the world's biggest idiot discarded. And despite how loud that mustache is, Reese, you, you, you're on mute. As I was saying, Dr. Dar harnessed this most magnificent healing power with a simple, classic ray gun. Oh, we have her device here. The Hippocratic something or other. Doesn't matter. We'll be changing it soon. Hmm. Hmm. Quaint, isn't it? Who'd have thought that the idiot CEO of Atlas would overlook and cancel such a quaint little ray gun? It's not all my discovery. It was a group effort with my teammates, Octavio, Fran, and Lou. You're not doing us any favors here, Chief. This device harnesses, concentrates, and amplifies the shard's effects. And thanks to some experiments in our lab earlier, Dr. Dar helped us iterate on the idea a bit. Hmm. Now, as I begin this demonstration, it is vital that you keep this fact at the front of your minds. Tidior is in possession of the only two extant Anahadium shards in existence. deny my esteemed competition the demonstration that I promised them? Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> As you are about to witness, the race to the top is over. I won! <laughs> now you have two choices. You can posture uselessly until I raise your company to the ground and strike your names from the history books, or B, accept defeat, merge your companies with TDR, keep your lives, and call me boss. Hmm? Go on, call me boss. <laughs> Go to hell. Scathing. Who's the boss? Suck it, Granny.
killed him. Anyone could have killed him. But he didn't give me what I wanted. Hmm. See, one shard makes it simple to save a life. But the other makes killing on a massive scale. as easy as breathing. See, with this simple process of rinse and repeat, you can, in fact, do far more than simply kill. You can obliterate even the most defiant spirit. Now, who's the... <laughs> and that is what I'm selling. Can't forget about death. Death is so easy, so passe. I am marketing total, absolute submission. God, with these shards, I can take a city, a civilization, an entire planet, and bend it to its needs. <laughs> There, chief. What is this? The shard! We're great, the shard! Criminals. Plunders. Murderers. Put her down! Holy <laughs> Froyo. <gasps> Kill them, kill them all, or face permanent termination! Ah! Here's an experiment. Let's turn Dr. Dar's healing device into a harming device. Hmm? Put Dr. Dar in the lab, put her idiot brother in a cell as leverage. As for the others? Incinerate them. But do you 
mean that literally? Yeah, or, or is it like a poetic license? I do not care. That is the point, you incompetent buffoons. They are not worth my consideration. Just kill them. Yeah. 